what's going on guys welcome back to another video before we get into this video you guys i need to let you guys know that if you're not following my twitch you're missing out on awesome content hit the link in my description follow me on twitch like comment subscribe to your favorite part of the video get notified when i post a video and when i go live on twitch tune in drop a follow say hey in the chat we'll see you in there with less further ado let's get into this video what's going on guys welcome back to another tutorial video today guys i'll be teaching you guys how to improve your streaming quality and streaming settings while streaming with streamlabs obs to my preference i believe this is probably the best streaming settings for my pc and my internet for you guys it will be different depending on your pc specs and your internet provider and how fast your internet is so with further ado let's get straight into the video so guys if you guys are streaming on streamlabs obs this is something that you guys are going to absolutely want to do you want to go ahead and go to your settings you want to go over to your video and starting with like the base canvas resolution you always want to leave that at 1920 by 1080 that's just your quality of the stream for the viewers and stuff it will be scaled to 16 by 900 which will make it better for the viewer who is watching you um next moving on you will downscale you want to leave this by cubic sharpest scale in 16 samples fps type you want to leave common fps values and common fps values you want to do 60. moving on to output you want to go ahead and just leave output mode in simple if you're advanced with things you want to do more you could put it in advance and you could go ahead and play around with the settings to get the best out of your graphics card me i just leave it in sample and leave my video bit rate to 6000 for me 6000 is the maximum for twitch since i do stream on twitch so the maximum bit rate you can have for twitch is 6000 is what i'm hearing so far i may be wrong if i am comment down and let me know um instead of using my software i use hardware encoder which is basically my graphics card i don't use my gpu to to stream everything because the graphic card utilizes space and bandwidth for each thing so everything can run smooth and no there will be no choppy rips or blocky streaming with that the audio bit rate i use 160 i use 160 i really don't know what this does it really doesn't affect me use due to the fact that i don't use a plug and play mic i use the xlr i use the xlr mic so um i don't really i, I usually play with this stuff on my mix amp and everything so with that stuff guys if you guys want to go ahead and get you guys internet speed you want to go to your internet provider and you just want to go ahead and run a speed run on your pc to get the test you want to come here then you want to go ahead and click start you want to get your download speed and then you're going to go ahead after you get your download you're going to it's going to stop and then it's going to go over to the upload this is what you want to worry about right here as you guys see i don't have a good upload speed because my internet provider is shit so i don't have a good upload so 27 by 20. so there will be a guide there's going to be a guide to the internet speed and what you should run your bit rate on and i'm going to show you guys this right now all right you guys so here is the guide for your streaming settings and preferences that nvidia has for you and as you can see, they have the bitrate resolution and the frame rate, and it, and it also goes into divine details on what it is and what it uses and how to set it properly. So as you guys can see that my upload speed was a 27, so I'm in this range right here. I'm in, I'm in this range right here. I don't use this preference because I don't stream on YouTube. I stream on Twitch, and then it goes down deeper into what you can use and stuff right here. So right here so as i was saying with the output mode you want to always use that simple streaming your bit rate into the enter the bit rate appropriate for your upload speed so as you guys can see my upload speed was around the 27 so i'll be in this range right here i would be in this range right here but i don't stream on youtube i stream on twitch so of course my bit rate won't be at 15,000. that's just what youtube allows you to go to i stream twitch so my maximum is 6,000. So like I said, for example, Fortnite and many streamers decide to stream, you feel me? So 16, nine, 16 by 960 frames per second is a good stream. It is a good stream quality. I have friends that stream in 1600 by 960 FPS, 
which is a good quality and you could also like i said you could also play around with it i don't use obs studios i use streamlabs obs and there's like detailed recommended settings if you don't want to use your custom settings there's recommended settings that'll make your your stream run smooth so you could also go ahead i will go ahead and link this in the description so you guys could go ahead and get your streaming settings up to par and perfect there's other settings that you have to mess around with like in your window settings you have to go and turn game mode on so your pc will know what game mode like like how to run and stuff like that and then you have the GPU utilization. You have the GPU utilization here. So to get here, you guys, you all, you just want to go ahead and control alt delete, hit task manager, and it will come up like this first. At first, you just want to go ahead and click performance. And then once you click performance, you just want to go ahead and check out your, you, you go ahead and check out your GPU, how much you're utilizing. So at this time right now, I'm using 17 to like 18 percent of my pc and this will always you it will tell you your your specs right here at the top so with that being said you guys go ahead and give this a look at check into it if this helps your stream if this helps your stream out and your streaming settings and your stream comes smooth go ahead and leave a like a comment subscribe for more tutorial videos i will be coming up with some more tutorials on things that people are asking me on how do i do like my previous video i want to thank you and i want to thank you guys so much for getting that video to 10k for the best graphics tutorials that i personally thought was best for gta so we're gonna come back with more we're gonna come back with more tutorial videos on other things on how to get other things done and more gameplay footage follow my twitch link in the description all the links to everything that you need help on will be here my discord link will be in the description too follow my disc join my discord hit me up if you need any help with anything if anything is not working right hit me up feel free to hit me up and i'll and i'll be there to help you out see you guys